All right, hey, what's up, guys? I'm just gonna make this in one shot, so please forgive me for any interruptions, background noises, whatever. But the other day, someone asked me why I joined the Marine Corps, and so I decided to do a little bit of reflection, and I really came down to the three main reasons why I joined the Marine Corps. So first and foremost, just being myself. Uh, I'll get into that more in a little bit. Next part about it was the well-targeted recruiting tactics that the Marine Corps uses, as well as other branches of the military. And the third part about it was my socioeconomic status, or how I saw uh, my place in society as a whole. So, just getting at myself. Hey, bud. I always had a strong sense of patriotism. Like, if you're one of those people that gets goosebumps and you hear the national anthem, or, you know, you really like the 4th of July, you wear an American flag on everything, all that good stuff. Uh, another thing was, when I was a kid, I was always trying to be tough, like, just be tougher. So, just being around other dudes, getting into fights, things like that, you're sort of looking for, like, a tough guy kind of mentality. Um, okay. Yeah. And I was always in somewhat of a competitive environment. So, whether it was some kind of whether it was some kind of like fun or recreational sports or some kind of school sponsored sport or something like that. There's always some aspect of competition in my life, which made me in the Marine Corps eyes mildly competitive. I'm not a super competitive dude, but in the real world or civilian life, I'm just considered average or slightly above average. Even. Uh, last, well, two more things about me. I developed a, a real liking of military history around middle school. I'd read a lot of military history books and such, and it just made me want to um, want to be a part of it, feel like I was a part of history or something bigger than myself. And the last thing about myself was 9-11. Uh, 9-11 happened when I was young. Uh, one year before that, I was actually at the World Trade Center. So I was able to build a really strong emotional tie to the terrorist attacks on 9-11 and sort of shaped my future somewhat unknowingly into wanting to be in the military. So uh, next thing, the recruiting tactics that the Marine Corps and other branches use. So they really target people that are looking for some kind of challenge. Now that's the Marine Corps specifically. Other branches, not so much all the time, like they'll mention it, but the Marine Corps really looks for people that are looking to be challenged and want more out of their life. Uh, they're gonna find people that have a certain sort of uh, emotional and moral compass, a uh, certain <laughs> aptitude to them to do the right thing. And the Marine Corps as a whole, they're gonna get people either way, so they don't really want you. They're not there actively trying to pull you in 24-7. Um, there's no real bonuses. There's no no better incentive than any other branch. They're not going to come walking out to you trying to offer you tens of thousands of dollars to sign up. So, uh, getting into my next thing of why I joined, the socioeconomic status that I'm at, uh, or that I was at, I should say. So as a kid, I moved a lot. I moved about 15 times before I hit high school. Um, I was never a really rich kid. I, I had enough. I wasn't poor by any means, but I never never really had all the things that everyone else had. Uh, and I didn't see college as a very realistic option for me financially. I didn't think I'd be able to get it. So I didn't think I'd be able to pay for college. Um, <laughs> I didn't see myself really being able to do anything besides either join the military or Yeah, I know. They hurt dad's ears too. I didn't really see myself being able to do anything besides join the military, work some dead-end job, or uh, try and find a way to get some kind of maybe trade or trade school certificate. So um, just being able to go into something that had a very dependable paycheck 
until the government shuts down. And on the reserve side, that means you're not getting a paycheck at all or even working for the government, really. But if you're going into something that had a reliable paycheck with a promise of different education benefits and a way to continue bettering myself was just why I suck it out. Or soak? I don't know. Not always the best of grammar. But anyways, if you're still watching this, hope there wasn't too many distractions. Uh, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because I make a lot of videos and answer a lot of stuff that people have questions about. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Have a great day. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to those of you who believe in that. And I will catch you around. Bye.